Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up Turbo in DuckStation. We speedrunners for Metal Gear Solid 1 used to use an older version of DuckStation. In that older version, setting up Turbo was quite easy. In the latest version, it's kind of a little bit different and people can easily do it wrong. So I figured I'd make this tutorial quickly just to show everyone how to set up Turbo and then everyone can enjoy nice and fast codecs in Metal Gear Solid 1 or in any other game you want. Let's start with the old version first, so we have a baseline. In this first version, if you go to settings and then your controller settings, you see this layout. If you don't have that, you probably have the later version, which it looks like this. We get to this in just a second. The thing with that is we usually don't want to use L3 and R3. And then at the end, it says auto fire buttons in the controller settings. So we go down and we're like, ah, there we go. So you press the button here that you want to activate turbo with. In my case, it's pressing in the right stick. Let's get noted here as button eight. And the button that we want to press turbo is cross. So we want to press this button repeatedly and we just want to hold this button down to have that being pressed. And you set it here in the amount of frames. So one frame is the minimum, two frames is what we want to use here. And you can set this up with up to four buttons here. You can even use a keyboard button if you want to use just a keyboard. If you Tired, for example, of pressing a stick. Same configuration here, cross, and then two frames. And just to prove it that it works, we're going to boot up MGS1 real quick here. And you can see here my inputs. This is when I press X regular. And if I hold down the right stick button, or if I hold down left control, you can see cross is flashing here. And that means that Turbo is actually active. So I'm going to press start here, new game, and I go, for example, easy. We're loading up the first codec here. Now I can even hold both for even faster codecs. And as you can see, Turbo is active and Cross was flashing. Now for the newer version of DuckStation, this layout changed a little bit and might be confusing at first, but it's very easy in the end. Let me guide you through. Once again, we go to settings and we go to controllers. This is the newer version of this controller setup. In the beginning, you can just go to automatic mapping and say, I want to map this to my currently uh, connected Xbox controller. And you see here, uh, left stick, guide, and right stick have all been set. I want to at least remove R3 because I'm going to use R3 for turbo. This key here is vital. It doesn't work if you have R3 already set and you want to use R3, for example, to activate turbo. You can only have one. You can ever have R3 mapped into the game input or you can use it for turbo. If there's a game where you need to use R3 as an input, then you cannot use this button to activate turbo. In my case, if for Metal Gear Solid 1, I don't need R3 to press in, so I can just remove that input. Then we go over to macros here. Macros is where the new turbo is. So the first macro that we have here, it looks like this. We have one out of four, same as the old version, up to four um, inputs where we can put on the turbo. And I go to macro one, and I want to activate it for the cross button. This button I want to have pressed repeatedly. Then the trigger is basically just on which button do you want to activate it. And as I said, I want to have it on R3. Or alternatively, keyboard control like this, keyboard in the left control. And you also need to set the frequency here. In the, my case, I already had it set, but the frequency of two means it will be set every two frames. You can kind of have an on frame and an off frame. And you can double that also if you want with the R3 button here. And there we go, right stick press in, and then it will be targeted for every two frames. And that's how you activate turbo for the station here. Quite simple. Let me go quickly here. We're going to do a fresh boot. Um, once we go to the game, you can already see here, I'm pressing in R3 and it says, ah, cross is being pressed repeatedly. Saving also for left control here. And here we go. I'm going to hold X regular to skip the cutscenes. And then I'm going to hold left control and the right stick at the same time. So basically two turbos for even faster codecs. And that's how you set up turbo in both an older version of DuckStation and now also in the latest version of DuckStation. Hope it helps. Happy running.